Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to practice one problem that includes uh, some of the concepts that we've learned about collinear collinearity, betweenness, and assumptions. So we're given in problem 15 that the measure of angle 1 is equal to 2x plus 40, the measure of angle 2 is equal to 2y plus 40, and the measure of angle 3 is equal to x plus 2y. So we can assume from the diagram that 1 plus 2 is a straight angle. 1 plus 2 represents uh, the consolidation or the creation of a straight line uh, between two of its sides. So we can assume that this is a straight line here from these two points, or through these two points. So I know that 1 plus 2 angle, 1 plus 2, is going to be equal to 180 degrees. I can also assume that this second line here is a straight line. So I can say that 2 plus 3 is equal to 180 degrees. Now I know if 1 plus 2 is equal to 180 degrees, and 3 plus 2 is equal to 180 degrees, then I know that 1 is also equal to 3. So we can use any one of these equations, or two of these equations, to solve for one of the variables. So let's go ahead and use the first two. I know that 1 plus 2 is equal to 180, and 2 plus 3 is equal to 180 degrees. So I'm going to rewrite this, <clears throat> this equation, 1 plus 2. So I know that 2x plus 40 is representative of angle 1, and angle 2 is represented by 2y plus 40. I know that angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. If I simplify this, I subtract 80 from both sides. I have 2x plus 2y is equal to 100. Then if I subtract 2y from both sides and divide by 2, I end up with x is equal to 50 minus y. Similarly, if I solve for x between the two equations for angle 2 and 3, I have 2y plus 40 plus x plus 2y. 2y plus 40 representing uh, 40 degree, or uh, angle 2, and x plus 2y representing angle 3. I can simplify to x is equal to 140 minus 4y. So I have x, uh, I subtract 4y from both sides, and I subtract 40 from both sides. I'm left with x is equal to 140 minus 4y. Well, I know that x is equal to x, so I can set these two values equal to each other. So 50 minus y is equal to 140 minus 4y. And then I solve for y. 50 minus y is equal to 140 minus 4y. Then 3y is equal to 90, and y is equal to 30 degrees. Now that I have y equal to 30 degrees, I can plug it back into any of the equations and solve for x. So 140 minus 4 times 30, which is 120. 140 minus 120 is equal to 20, and that's your value for x. So now that we have the value for x and y, we can solve for each of the angles. So if uh, x is 20 and y is 30. And the measure of angle 1, 2 times 20 plus 40 is going to be 80. Measure of angle 2, 2 times y, which is 30, which is 60 plus 40 is 100. And the measure of angle 3, x, or 20, plus 60 is going to be equal to 80 degrees. And we can see that the measure of angle 1 is 180 degrees. The measure of angle 2 plus 3 is equal to 180 degrees. And we've already stated that the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 3. And we can see that that holds true.